This is a rather unusual device. It seems to be very common on eBay at the moment, uh, though. It's a USB-powered fly trap, and the way it works is it's got a rotating uh, plate on top and little uh, troughs here that you put the sort of fly bait in. And when you actually turn it on, the top bit initially closes a clear window over the top of where the flies are eating, and then these fins here interlock with these ones, and it gradually nudges the flies into the middle. And I can demonstrate that by putting some small balls here. Uh, many people say, why don't you actually test these fly traps with flies? And the answer is because I don't have any flies here. Very rarely see flies in the house. So here's the flies eating the food. Let's uh, zoom down that just a little bit. And the cover has gone over the top of them. Now, theoretically, because it's transparent, they won't see that cover. I'm not sure if that would work. And then these interlocking sort of combs will gradually push the insects that will disturb them and it will coral them, so to speak, corral, into the middle where there's a, a closed compartment. Once that happens, this closed compartment, now, it, watch this. There's a slight imperfection. Watch it slow down very slightly. Oh, it's just struggling a wee bit there. I'm not surprised. It's quite a complex moulding. But uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit. And uh, I'll show you what's underneath this. Underneath here is another section rotating. It's got a hole. And as that hole rotates underneath, is that just a rag of plastic or is it just part of the design? Underneath is uh, a little trap with a sort of channel and then where the flies can come out uh, down below. I'm not sure what's supposed to lure them out because although it's got black here to stop them flying up the way, it's got a clear side to it. Um, maybe there is enough light actually down below to actually make the insects preferentially choose that area or just seek any sort of route they can get to escape. Now the current consumption of this is very low. I've measured the current consumption and it came in at a measly 45 milliamps, which is pretty good. And I've got it powered from a little uh, USB power supply here. I suppose ultimately you could run these overnight from a USB power supply. It did come with a powdered bait. The bait smells like sort of very fine fish food or ground up cat biscuits. It's a very fine powder. And they say you shouldn't use anything hard because if the insects move about uh, and it gets uh, in between these fins, it could potentially jam it because these fins are actually quite a close fit. I'll just uh, pour these uh, beads I've got here everywhere. These fins are quite a close fit. They really do sort of comb through these, which is why at one point it did make that sort of slightly slowing down noise. But let's open it up and see what's inside. There is instantly a little red bung that you can pull out. Uh, I don't know if the body comes off easily. Is that glued on or is it just clipped? It seems to be clipped so you can open it for cleaning. That's reassuring. Anyway, let's uh, take this cover off and see what's underneath. Well, a motor presumably. Probably not that much else. There, I don't think there could be active electronics in here. So, off comes the cover. Get a couple more turns in that screw there, it's being persistent. So yeah, there's a motor and... oh, and there's a resistor. There's a... the switch, there's the... cable coming in goes to... the, the red goes to... I thought that resistor was in series of the motor, it's not. Red... Black goes to the switch, switch comes out to the motor. The resistor is in parallel with the motor. That's odd. Uh, the resistor's value is red, black, brown, which is 2, 0 and 1, 0. So that's 200 ohms. So that resistor at 5 volts, uh, I equals V over R, 5 divided by the 2, did 2 I say 200 ohms equals 25 milliamps. So that's drawing more than the motor. The motor's only drawing about 20 milliamps. Is that resistor just to keep some USB power banks and power supplies awake then? Uh, that's strange. It's very odd. Okay. And then fundamentally that is just a geared motor there. Low voltage motor geared going onto the uh, side of this wheel and then that's turning not just that wheel with the little trap underneath it 
but it's also turning the plate on top that uh, covers the flies and then ushers them into the middle. Um, so very, very simple. I'm kind of like perplexed about that resistor. I kind of want to, I kind of want to test it without that resistor. Did they mean to put that in series of the motor, or is it just, ooh, flux, uh, or just what happened? I guess the only reason I can think for that motor is to keep the unit awake. Let's cut it. Let's cut it and then power it again. Uh, I'm going to grab a tester. Here's the tester I'm going to use, a little port -a power tester because it's very accurate. Let's plug the power supply into this. And then the device itself. And we'll see if I lift this up so that the thing can rotate freely. The power consumption is now 20 milliamps. So that resistor was drawing more than the actual uh, motor in the unit. How strange. Yeah, I can only, the only reason I can think they've done that is to keep uh, USB power banks awake so that you can actually plug this into a power bank and just have it, you know, sitting somewhere overnight. So I'm not sure what would be the best thing for the bait. Uh, some insects like sugar syrup and others like uh, sort of rotting meaty type things. So I guess that's maybe why they've used this powder. It probably is a meat powder that uh, is designed to lure the house flies in. But very interesting, very simple. I really will, I kind of need flies now. That's annoying. I really need to find some flies, but I'm not going to find any here. So uh, sadly, that's going to be it for this video. I'm not going to be able to show you it with flies in it. But if you go on YouTube, well, you're on YouTube already, but if you look for uh, videos in this, you'll probably see them popping up here and there where they're clearly in a sort of cage or something, a, a aquarium full of flies just to show operating and you see them all hovering around the food and get ushered in but uh, pretty much as I showed you with these beads that's more or less what you see the flies eating the food then sort of getting ushered into the middle and then disappearing so uh, that's more or less it super simple just a motor